I this is size 14 light wire hook and the thread I'm using is rusty brown 8 or add some wax on your thread and just start from below the eye touch and turn let's take this extra piece off open your thread and for the body this is a silver rib sorry it was silver tinsel for the body um, this is actually I cut it off from the crisp bucket back of the crisp cheese and onion crisp so if you don't have any silver you can use this bucket of crisp and also using a silver ribbing copper wire so if you catch it and then just a body length touch and turn open your thread and that's fine now you have to do is bring your body material and scare this Take this extra piece off. <clears throat> now I'm going to use a brown hako, or you can use ginger, cock hako, saddle hako. So this is the piece I used earlier for one of the flies. So it's already been used so you can see the fibers are on one side so you, if you just catch it from there secure it nicely and then take off this extra piece and gently just kind of a couple of turn towards and then just about create a little gap in each turn take your time this is a little smaller for me so and then just catch it with your silver wire and secure every part of the turn you can see this stroke them back so you can get all the fibers facing backward and then gently secure this wire properly and break it off as you can see the scale and just use your rubbing brush to stroke this okay bar. and for the wings I'm using uh, primary feather of the malar duck and these are the silvery color light color feathers so if you just take run the scissor down Cut these off from the left and the right wing. <clears throat> Let's just take a couple of strands off. So 
here just around the dome. And I'll just show you in a bit. See, so if you put them like this, the darker side underneath and the silver, they should be curving in. So just put them on top of the hook, both sides. A little bit longer than body length pinch and then run it down once more that's fine so I'm gonna secure them first before I work with them after you don't need to work with them because after one cast you'll see your wings going all over the place so all secure they should be a little bit open from the top as you can see now that's fine <coughs> just take this fluff off with a lighter add some more wax on your thread and I'm going to be using the same huckle again on the head so if you just create a little point and secure this make sure you take the stem off and then just to stroke them back so you can have them nice position Take your time and then secure this few turn stroke everything back and form a little head is the whip finished now extra piece the next step is your varnish and make sure you just use very thin on the head because so there we have silver sedge another traditional dry fly works really well in a river and still water I hope you enjoy this video, thanks for watching.